Welcome to Landrianc on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna cry today, all right? I'd be just, I'm either laughing or I'm crying. I'm usually, you know what, I'm never crying because like, I'm depressed. I cry because I'm like sad for something that was beautiful. You know, like losing Ku was my kitty cat. I was sad, but I was crying because life just life is so emotional isn't it it's not bad it's just you experience these things i cry when i the sun's you know setting it's gorgeous don't miss out on those beautiful things to really appreciate how incredible it is to to feel and be human but i want to talk today about something because i love it when you guys pose questions so i can talk about what's relevant to you so we talked about the changes going on and all these things you're experiencing and i was saying earlier in another video the veils are coming down even if you're not really into all this stuff a lot of the people that aren't into really connecting to their spiritual essence of which that's all they are truly um they're experiencing stuff too they just ignore it you know they don't they go, oh that's a coincidence there are no coincidences so uh somebody was telling me they were seeing uh what double or triple uh numbers it really doesn't matter and i'll tell you why it's sort of funny because uh, the other day i was i just out of the blue um looked at my cell phone it was 11 11 and i went thank you it doesn't matter what the numbers are or how many there are or whatever it is. It's just a sign to you. I mean, you can look the numbers up, the 2222 or 3333, and you might, you know, the thing I found out is that there's really not a lot of consistency in that, the, the interpretation of that. I'm going to ask you, because you have the same access as anybody else to that ultimate answer. You really do. What do you think it means? I know what 1111 means. The 11s are, it's a spiritual angelic message. 11 is a huge one. If you, it's 1111 or 111 11, you know, or just 111, uh, those are all spiritual angelic numbers. In other words, it's a communication system from the unseen world in a world that they're not really in alignment with. They're, on, they're not on our lower frequency. So, communicating with us is a little bit of a, a trick sometimes because they're doing it all the time but you know we're like in a box you know we don't see things we don't hear things unless you have psychic abilities you know that are much more natural than most of us um, the veils coming down you're gonna start to see that more so start paying attention I mean you know if a hummingbird like keeps hanging around you've never seen hummingbirds and all of a sudden a hummingbird just you know hanging around or you know or something that's just really really different and then it happens a few times especially those are communications sometimes it's a loved one just letting you know they're okay uh i've been waiting for ku to show up ku actually showed up the night after he died in one of my dreams and um he wouldn't let me stop petting him it's like pet me pet me um he seemed a little bit confused so maybe it's the way he died he was attacked by coyotes but uh sometimes people that die depending on what the situation was can be in a a state of transition um and so once they go over and that they are at peace they will start communicating with you mostly mostly through dreams because that's when our barriers go down the ego steps aside and we're now in that spiritual realm it's just not a dream those aren't just dreams a dream is you now spiritually connecting to the realms without the interference of your body pay attention to all of those write those dreams down watch the numbers now don't be looking for you, you just gotta relax it'll show up uh, look at license plates or signs that go by or whatever it's like, especially if you're asking questions it's like you know um, you'll have like a you know billboard you know just do it <laughs> should I take this job just do it and then there's a license plate take it <laughs> do it you know you're like I wonder if I should take this job you know it's like we're just not paying attention it's all over the place so whatever you're seeing my friend who was asking about the the numbers um you know what they are 
you know, have you been asking for something recently or are you just opening yourself up? And the other side's just saying, welcome, we're here and you, you know, you're connected now. And then so start manifesting the stuff you want. You're always manifesting. Start manifesting, say, okay, I know, oh, you're listening. All right, so I need guidance. Don't, don't just say, I want money, I want blah, 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 blah. They're not gonna, that's, that's uh, interfering with free will because you have to, you have to perform certain things and uh, learn and grow here. Handing you a check for something isn't going to help you at all and they will not interfere with that. If you're not getting the money that you want and you're not manifesting, it's because you have a block. So they're not going to interfere with it. You have got to remove that block and figure out why you don't believe things or you don't have faith or whatever. Thing. And that's part of your journey. When you break through those, you just manifest money. You don't need some angel to get it for you. And they'll help you only because you're at that place and you've learned and you're ready for it. So just remember, you have access to do everything, but if you want to find out, you know, you know, how do I, or how can I accelerate, or what do I need to do, you're just asking them to help you on this journey. They are all over that. And then you say, you know, I'm asking you to do this or that. You're giving them permission cannot break free will, so you have to give them permission. But they won't just give you stuff unless you are ready, open for it, and you know you already have it, and you've gotten to that point where you've really accomplished certain goals on your journey to earn it. Otherwise, it has no meaning, no lottery ticket. It's gonna change your life in a positive way. It's actually gonna probably backfire on you. So make sure that you're in a place where you really feel good about it. And by the way, what happens? You sort of don't even want it anymore. And then it shows up anyways. <laughs> That's usually when I get a boatload of stuff. Oh my gosh, all the help in the world. So I wanted some assistance and I got asked to be on a talk show. Um, and I, like, you know, I was like, I need to accelerate my exposure. That's the other thing. You can help me by uh, sharing these and getting people to sign up, subscribe to this channel. It's going to get the word out. The more people that start to get this positive, these positive messages and start to realize we are all in it together. We have got to spread this word. The more we do it, the more we accelerate the abundance of the planet, the peace, the love, the, you know, raising the frequency. So please do, yes, please do share my, um, videos, how, whatever way you can, and share the word yourself. And say your prayers, send out light and love to this universe every day. Look for those signs, they're everywhere. And when I got my love and love uh, a couple days ago, I was like very excited, it was like, oh! I don't, I don't know why I wanted to look at my phone. It's like, I, I need to look at my phone and see what time it is, 11, 11. It's like, hey, 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 we just want to let you know you're, we're here working with you. We're on your side. So they're beautiful. They're just, oh, they're so, they love you so much. You're so unconditionally loved. Don't ever forget that. So ask for the sign, not in desperation, but just say, you know, be really nice to know, you know, what I should do in this situation or, you know, or give me a little, you know, hint or maybe have somebody call me that'll help me and then I'll take the action. You're always in charge. It's all about you. It's your growth, your decisions, your free will. And just know that uh, the signs are fun. Ask for them. See what happens. Share your stories with me. I love it when you guys tell me stories. You're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Why do I always say that? I read that in the Master Key System. It's a very powerful mantra for people that have healed themselves and others through it. You can use it for yourself. Create your own. Say it over and over. Believe it. Know it. You are powerful beyond your imagination. Namaste.